Hi, my name is Tyra Brown and I am the practice based coach and behaviorist here at Leap Head Start. Uh, prior to coming to this role though, for a long time I was a preschool teacher in the River Street Center um, for the last several years in the Hilltop Room. One of my most favorite things to do as a teacher in the classroom was to read with the children, whether it be one-on-one -on -one or in a small group or a read aloud at circle time. And I really miss doing that. So I'm very happy to be able to um, share a read aloud with you today. But before we begin our book, we always had a song in our classroom that we would sing to get ready for the book. So I'd love if you would sing with me. And we start by patting our lap and it goes, books are fun to read. Books are fun to read. Hey ho, we all know books are fun to read. The title says the name. The title says the name. Hey ho, we all know the title says the name. The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hey ho, we all know the author writes the words. And now we crisscross our hands on our lap. The illustrator draws the pictures. The illustrator draws the pictures. Hey ho. Oh, we all know the illustrator draws the pictures. And the book that I chose today was a favorite in our classroom over the years because, um, well, it's called No David. No David is the title. And it was written and illustrated by David Shannon. And it was a favorite with the children because David here is pretty mischievous and he gets into some trouble. And it can be kind of funny sometimes to um, when we look at the illustrations in the book, but in the book, we also learn that even when David's not making good choices, he is still loved. So, um, I hope you enjoy this book with me. And so again, no David, and you can see right from the cover that David might be up to, hmm, some trouble. Let's see. And then this is the title page, and you see again, No David by David Shannon. And I wonder who this could be. Hmm. I wonder who that person is with her hands on her hips. Maybe even looks like she's tapping her toe. And you see right away that David is doing some writing, and it looks like he might be writing on the wall. And the words on this page say, David's mom always said, no, David. Why do you think she's saying no to David? I don't know. Writing on the wall, is that a, is that a good choice or not so much? Uh-oh, and you see here, David's climbing. David's up on a chair and he's reaching. And I wonder if you know what might be in that jar. The word there says cookies. And the words over here say, no, David. Mom might be worried. What could happen to David if he's climbing like that on the chair? And here you see David has walked into the house. And look what's happened to the carpet as he walks. Oh, man. And so the words here say, no, David, no. Look at David's head. He's got some plants, some grass, and some mushrooms on his head. I wonder where David was before he came into the house. Hmm. So David was very dirty. So, of course, Mom told him to get in the tub. But do you see what's happening in the bathtub? Oh, my goodness. David is splashing water everywhere. If you look at the bottom, you can see it's flooding the floor. And so she says, no, no, no. Now this page, this page always got us giggling. Because look, David got out of the tub and ran right out of his house and down the road. But look, David is not wearing any clothes. And so, of course, Mom yells behind him, come back here, David. And then, have you done this before? David's banging on the pots and pans, can you see? And his mouth is open wide, which makes me think maybe he's screaming. And the words mom says is, David, be quiet. David's making a lot of noise. And then it's dinner time. Do you see what David has done? 
he's made a little person out of his food. But mom tells him, don't play with your food. Looks like he's used a potato for the head. He's got a fork there, some green beans for arms, and some chicken legs for the person's legs. Oh, and then he's eating, but mom has to say, that's enough, David. Looks like David's shoved a lot of food in his mouth. I don't think he's chewed. What could happen if you put too much food in your mouth and you don't chew? I know, I hope that David does not choke. And David's watching some TV, and I'm not sure what happened, but Mom said, go to your room. And so David goes to his room. Oh, look, he's jumping up and down on the bed. It looks like he's dressed up like a superhero. He's got a cape and a mask on. Oh, and his boots and mom says settle down oh my goodness david stop that this instant mom says stop that this instant oh my goodness look at that mess that david has and so mom says put your toys away and then David finds his baseball and his bat and his mask and his hat, which if you look over on the messy page, I see his baseball bat and ball there. So I wonder if when he was cleaning, he thought, hmm, I think I'll play baseball next. Oh, but mom has to tell him, not in the house, David. Do you know what could happen if you play baseball inside the house? Let's see what happens to David. Oh, man. Do you see what happened to David's face? And I had said, I said, no, David. Oh, but David, he reaches up with his arms open wide to his mom. And mom says, Davy, come here. And she gives him a big hug. And she says, yes, David. Yes, David, I love you. So even when David was not making the best choices, his mom still loved him. So I hope that you enjoyed this story of No David by David Shannon. And thanks for reading with me.